Traffic woes top our news tonight. Good evening, I'm Cynthia Arsenault. We all want good roads and drainage, but the building process can be difficult to deal with when you're on the road. KPLC's Teresa Schmidt was up with the sun to check out a couple of areas that are hot spots for complaints. Well, some people have been getting up extra early, but evidently not early enough. Frustration abounds for those trying to drive north from South Lake Charles. Construction of major road and drainage projects can be a miserable time for drivers, especially those headed to work or school. People complain of bad traffic due to road closures due to the West Preon Lake Road and Weaver Road projects. Resident Elisa Guillory already gets up early, but she says it's so difficult to go north. To close down two major north-south routes is not ideal. There were signs like these aimed at keeping people from using Lock Lane as a shortcut, but Elisa says people were going around the signs which have now been taken down. Hillary says her main concern is safety. So people are late, they're um, upset, sometimes they drive uh, faster to try to catch up, which is dangerous. Wish they would have prepared us so that people knew that they would have to get up even earlier than they do normally and think about their route, how they're going to get to where they're going in a safe fashion. Lake Charles police were trying to catch speeders on Lock Lane where the speed limit is 25 miles an hour. The city and Calcasieu police jury are working on a joint project to widen West Preon Lake Road, improve drainage and sewerage, and add a sidewalk and bike path. And the city is working to improve Weaver Road drainage and add sidewalks. The northbound lane of Weaver is closed, adding to traffic issues there. The city is working with project engineers and contractors to change current road closure plans, which they expect to give people relief. Police Chief Sean Caldwell urges drivers to plan for delays, especially in peak times. He says they are monitoring for unsafe driving practices and addressing it with warnings and citations. Now today, officers issued nine written warnings and one citation for speeding. Teresa Schmidt, 7 News.